Good evening. We are into the final hours now before British Columbians learn the fate of the HST. Tomorrow morning, Elections BC will release the results from the referendum, and this province will either keep the controversial tax or go back to the old PST GST combo. More than a million people cast their ballots in the referendum, and many of those are on edge tonight waiting for the results. Kristen Robinson reports. At this used bookstore, staff are still sorting through the HST's impact, hoping Friday's referendum results on the controversial tax won't turn back the books on the break they've enjoyed since their previous PST exemption and 7% GST transformed into a 5% HST in July 2010. I am, I'm a little bit nervous uh, that, that uh, we will be up with the, the being charged with the 10%. Uh, yeah, I'm just hopeful that, that we can keep it at the 5% for the people that shop at our store. After more than two years of protest, BC is about to learn the fate of the harmonized sales tax. About 1.6 million people, or more than half of the province's eligible voters, cast ballots in the mail-in referendum. Sometime before noon Friday, Acting Chief Electoral Officer Craig James will leave the Elections BC office with an envelope containing the HST referendum voting results. He'll make his way to the BC Legislature, where he'll deliver the sealed envelope to the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly. Referendum voting results will also be posted on the Elections BC website. If British Columbians say they want to get rid of the HST, we'll get rid of it. We, I know what Plan B would look like if the HST is rejected, um, and we're just going to get to work. We'll just roll up our sleeves and get down to work. And that's, uh, if that's the verdict that British Columbians offer, we're going to accept it. I think that tells you that she's prepared for the tax to go down to defeat, and they'll start laying out Plan B, I think, tomorrow afternoon. If that happens, Plan B could take up to two years to eliminate the HST. The first step would be negotiating with Ottawa to cancel the tax, then introducing a law to bring back the provincial sales tax. And it's unclear if all the previous PST exemptions for items ranging from used books to bicycles will be reinstated. I don't know, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm hoping to see that the HST stays because with the PST coming back, there's no guarantee that it was going to be off bikes. Some bike shop employees would rather stick with a reduced 10% HST in three years than see a higher combined PST and GST return. But experts say if the HST is axed, all the previous PST exemptions should return. If you want to accept the verdict of a vote to go back, you go back. Now, tomorrow right here on Check, we'll have special coverage of the results. We'll be live in front of the legislature at noon, and we'll bring you the results as they come in. Mike Smith from the province newspaper will join me for analysis, and we'll have special guests and talking to people from both sides. We'll have reactions from both sides of the debate as we learn the results as they come in. That happens right here on Check.